Alright, hi everybody, it's Fallen Kai 922. Okay. Shingeki no Kyojin. Let's go. Um, this one was... Okay, this is getting a 4. I want to be, be perfect about that. Um, this is getting a 4. Now, this one... See, this is what they did. Which makes perfect sense. And I, I was talking about this last week with the episode review. They are going to show Aaron's and everyone else's. Aaron, Mikasa, um, Armin. We got to see all the others. You know, we saw uh, Reiner, Britt Holt, Connie, uh, Gene, who's kind of a douchebag with what the way he, he's acting. We got to see them all. And this is their training. Yeah, this is their training. They are... This and people, stupid fucking rug. People are probably gonna hate me for doing this, but I'm going to say where this actually takes place. This scene in this episode, it takes place in volume four. Just, just figured I'd tell you that, guys. In the manga, that's where it takes place. Um, and. Basically, that's what the story is. So, and this was good. No, 100%. This was awesome. It was basically, I have the mom with me now. Find with me now. It is basically majority of it a fine four uh, when they have the flashback. And <laughs> the funniest scene was the potato girl, Sasha. Oh, my God. I was like loving it at shit. That was it was awesome. But yeah, they did it perfectly. They did a great job. Um they did bit by bit by bit of showing things. The only thing was not the the episode itself, the translation was off. Like they weren't calling Titans Titans. They were giving it a different name, which I found very weird. But nevertheless, this was done well. And I believe the episode name was called Episode 3, Shining Dibly. Shining dimly in the midst of despair, Mankind's Recovery 1. And the next week's episode is going to be called Night of the Graduation Ceremony, Mankind's Recovery 2. Now, the one after that, we go back to the original line um, from there. So, yeah. But overall, great job, Rick. You're doing a good job here. Every part. Of this ep the only thing they did change slightly was when Aaron goes and meets up with Reiner and Bertholdt and asks them um, how did they do it and everything, and they're talking, they're talking. The one scene that was a little off, but didn't mind it, I didn't mind it, I thought it was done well, was they actually go with um, Reiner and Bertholdt outside, and walking in the woods, and they're talking to them there. Yeah, and that's basically the only different thing. But overall, this was great. Great fucking episode. Once again, 4 out of 5. Um, animation was spot on. You know, 12, 10, 10 out of 10. Um, no censorship needed because there was nothing to censor. And what, what part I really liked that was just like, oh, shit. When, um, I forgot that broad's name. And in the manga, they call her something different later on. But here they called her. It, it, it's it's not Yamir, the girl that Yamir befriends. The part where she gives food to Sasha and she's like, ah! and she's like going after the food like a demon, and she showed her red eyes and shit. That was awesome. And Gene, oh man, Gene, he's a fucking asshole for what he was doing and saying. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. And here's another thing I noticed about this episode with this time skip. The way they animated Mikasa was kind of strange. Like, a few of the female characters, their lips, were, it looks almost like they have gloss on their lips. Almost like, you know, lipstick on. But I guess they're just doing that to make her look mature, so to speak. But this was awesome. They This is basically, yeah, this was their training, and it was done great, awesome. Um, and obviously there was the part in in this series of events when they're in their training stage. Um, Aaron can't do the 
Um, he can't do it. What the story is, is in order to use the maneuverability gear, the 3D maneuverability gear, you need to have a certain pose and certain stance so you don't fall over. And Aaron had a hard time trying to get it right. And that was the whole bit why he went and visited Reiner and Berthold. And the other thing was, was there was also the scene, and I liked that scene with Berthold and Reiner. And especially Reiner and Aaron. I was like, damn, this is good. It was, that was good the way they did that shit. It was like suggesting something. <laughs> but I'm not saying anything. Nope. Nope. Lips are sealed. Lips are sealed. I'm not saying anything. But it was a nice scene with Reiner and Aaron. I really dig that. This episode was done very well. I like where this is going. Like it, like it, like it. Um, and tell me what you guys think. Because right now, th th this is what's going to happen. They're going to tell the story of their training, which shouldn't cover that many more episodes. But now that I think about it, you know, it doesn't matter because this happens eventually. They, they, they have to show this now to tell the story of how they become part of the Legion, Scouting Legion, and everything else. And also, I should mention Gene. He, he, wanted, he wants to join the military, the police. So he gets sent to the innermost wall. That's it. You fucking, fucking bastard. That guy's a bastard, Gene. He, he, he starts, start in this, you know, he starts shit with fucking Aaron. All the time. It's like, come on. Man. It's crazy. Um, but this was done well. I liked it. And they, they're going to go... This is probably going to last... This training segment is probably going to last from next week's episode. And I'm going to say one more. And then we're going to be done. And we're going to go back to the story. Them... Um, yeah, them... You know, the story of, of... of They... You know, go from there. And I like what they're doing here. They are doing this perfectly canon material gets a 10 out of 10 animation 10 out of 10 the music was spot on 10 out of 10 and the interactions with characters were just great i loved this episode so yeah go check it out people we will see now here's the thing for now it doesn't matter for now i can fanboy as much as i want but there's going to be a certain point put it on your calendars people Put it on there. Not now. But when they get to a certain point in the story, and I'm talking about in Volume 1, close to the end of Volume 1, then I'm all business. All business. All business in the front, people. Because then... Then it becomes a different story, because... They're going to show a lot of things that they're going to have to... You know, Wit is going to have to, like, you know, show. <laughs> and I'm talking about the censorship. Later on, it gets it gets pretty gruesome. Yeah. And I just figured I'd bring that up. But this episode was great. I liked the interactions with the characters. That was spot on. It was done fucking great. Done awesome. I liked it. So, yeah. We'll see how we go with this. Um, I like what I saw. Tell me what you guys think. This is Bonkai 922. See you guys later. Our, hey, fucking Reiner is the man. Anyone who read the manga, though, knows what happens with Reiner. But I'm not saying anything. Not saying anything. Not saying anything. But I like that moment. That was awesome. So, yeah, this gets a 4 out of 5. It's from Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Reiner, Potato Girl, Sasha, and Aaron's training. Let's go in, people. And you like, I like another thing I loved? And I, I, this was the last thing I want to say? The ending of this episode. When he, he fucking Aaron showed me with the fucking gear. I was like, no, it's awesome. Fucking awesome. Beastly ass shit, Aaron. Aaron for the motherfucking win. It's Bonka 922. I will see you guys later.